I applied to be the student board rep when I was a freshman. It was very ambitious of me. I was such a nerd, but obviously I didn't get it. You need experience for the job. You need experience not only with like ASB and that area, but also experience being a student at Pali. So I got the job of being a sophomore site council rep. And I think that prepared me really well because you interact with adults, you interact with students. And so that was a really nice intro to ASB and to the type of work that I wanted to do. And then junior year, I was the club's commissioner and I really enjoyed that because it was very student focused, right? And so I got to learn about my community and about, you know, my peers' interests really well. And then senior year, and then I'm the board rep and I have to work with both groups. So I felt like those two positions were very good intro positions to this job. And I think my main motivator for picking this position is because A, I think I work pretty well with adults. I feel like those are where my strengths are. And then B, I just felt like there was general like student apathy towards board policy politics and like local policies that affect them. It's been great to see so many kids take initiative and, you know, start petitions, come at the board meeting and talk. My biggest goal was tackling student apathy because I felt like we are the biggest stakeholders in all the decisions they make. Our voice needs to be heard. I and the gun board rep, his name is Thomas Lee. We started coordinating, I think, late May, early June. As soon as we figured out we were slated to be the board reps for next year. We also sent out an email to Dr. Austin and Ms. Ofet. Can students be on the bell schedule? committee. You know, we met with Dr. Austin before school started to get like an idea of what our job would entail and, you know, what would be expected of us. We started listening into board meetings in June. So we were in the loop. We wanted to make sure that we were prepared and we were ready to go and jump right in. And some of the biggest like achievements I've had so far in this role is with the CA schedule, the Monday bell schedule, right? I remember we sent out a survey earlier on in the year and we've gotten like over 750, over 800 responses. Now the CA is up to us. I mean, last I heard, the C-Day schedule was a site-level decision now, right? And so we get to decide what we want to do with it. But, you know, I'm not sure if that's still the case with us going back into the purple tier and distance learning being the next option. I'm relieved. The plan, I think kids were being asked to choose between two not-so-great options for their education. And it didn't serve anybody that well. It was a compromise that nobody liked. Now that that plan has been postponed, maybe we could go back to the drawing board and this time come up with a plan that will better suffice everybody's needs. Every single person on the school board wants what's best for the students and wants what's best for schools. We just have different opinions and different perspectives on what best is. Since school started, I think I've met with Ms. DeBrianza like three times. She's the Pali liaison. She has really opened up a channel of communication with me. Like she gave me her number. I text her with any questions or any concerns I have. So I feel like she hears what I'm saying. It's just we have different perspectives on what best is for the community and I think that's where the difference lies. For the rest of the year, I just honestly hope to take what I've been doing right now to a completely different level. I mean, right now, I've been trying my best to make sure that I'm fulfilling my role as a student board representative to the best of my abilities. I think once all of these other obligations go away, I'll be able to take it to a completely new level. And that includes hosting multiple fishbowls, you know, and bringing maybe cohorts back on campus, like meeting with more student clubs, like during drop-in hour or like a come talk to your student board member type of thing. I think the biggest issue that we have is student interaction and getting getting students interested in just signing on to Zoom for another half an hour or hour after school. You know, the work that we do actually has an impact for not only our class, but also the grades that come after us, right? It's about policies that we make and the precedents that we set. I want to make sure that the students are well informed of local board politics before, before I leave.